So we're here in Zurich at the Darus Collection. I'm standing here with Louis Kamnitzer. Uh, the Darus Collection is the holder of one of the biggest collection of Louis Kamnitzer's work. And as far as I remember, it's after the 70s, the second big exhibition of your work in Switzerland. I know you were born in Germany. And yeah, and then I, I moved, to Uruguay. moved to Uruguay when I was a year old. And in 1964, I went to the U.S. with a fellowship and then stayed and then couldn't go back to Uruguay because of the dictatorship. So I stayed on and I'm still in New York. So you're still staying in New York. <laughs> yeah. And you are the founder of a very interesting project in New York together with your wife. Yeah, and uh, Jose Guillermo Castillo, uh, Venezuelan artist. It was a three-person three co-op of sorts, and we made the New York Graphic Workshop <clears throat> in, back in '65, trying first to renew printmaking, and then we just shifted into aesthetics and conceptualism. So printmaking is actually the source of, of your artistic work? Uh, in certain ways, yes, and the breaking away from printmaking also. <laughs> Luis Kamnitzer is here today at the exhibition because um, the exhibition catalogue is coming out today and the cover of the exhibition's catalogue is um, printed with small pieces like copy and original. It's rubber stamps it's, it's rubber that are stamps. used in offices to yeah. mark documents and so, I made the labels. So these rubber stamps, copy mm -hmm. and original, reminds me to a piece which we are standing in front of. And you can see two gray rectangles, and mm -hmm. one of these rectangles has been made by you, and the other one by, by a, a painter, wall by painter. a professional yes. wallpainter. So can you tell us a little bit um, about this work? Uh, I was interested in how the designation changes value. And the walls are, actually my wall is less well done than the wall done by the painter. Actually the painter was very upset that I was that sloppy. So you would say the painter's work uh, is even better than yours? From the point of view of craftsmanship, definitely, okay. yes. But he doesn't have the luck, uh, the luck of being called an artist by society. Right. So he only could charge his labor time. Well, I could add on for concept and for gallery commission. And so the difference somewhere between 500 francs for him and 20,000 francs for me. Oh, even, even more, $22,000. Yeah, dollars. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, big difference. And yeah, this, this difference between copy and original, there is uh, your signature also on this work. Yeah. And another piece you did is selling your signature by centimeters. Yes, uh, I, I feel that once art has become a merchandising product or object, the value is totally distorted. Instead of evaluating a piece by its importance in terms of changing culture, it is uh, evaluated by offer and demand. And that is summed up in the signature of the artist more than in what's being done. So I'm trying to demystify as much as I can from everyday life, and that's one of the things. You always tried to, to stay independent as an artist. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like a little bit um, not moving like the art market is moving. Stay independent, and that's maybe one of the reasons, uh, I mean, you're an artist, you're a yes. critic, you are a, a theorist, you, are mm. a, you, are, you have a political attitude within mm. your work. Would you say um, that is important to stay independent to do such a work you, you did or you're still doing? No, I think it's important to sleep well and everybody defines the needs to sleep well differently. And I define my way of sleeping well, avoiding corruption. So if I have to live off my work, I am in danger of being corrupted. And that means I'm in danger of losing the perspective of when I do something because it's selling well, or I'm doing something because it's part of my research. And that 
inability to know exactly which is what you're doing is where corruption comes in. If I know I'm doing something twice so that I can sell it twice, then I'm not being corrupted, I'm just being cynical or exploitative, which is different. Mm -hmm. And that realization I had very early in life, I was single, I was 17, and I decided then that I never would live off my artwork, and I would try to live off other things. And I was very lucky, and lucky that I like teaching, for instance, yes. and so I could live from the, my salary. So art and education I, made you, in a way, independent and maybe gave you the chance to, to involve young people to work maybe with the same attitude you did? You, no, hopefully, doing. but one never knows. Yeah. But the point is that for me there's no difference between teaching and doing art or writing. There is all the things you listed. I would say they're all art just happening in different media. So you're a writer as well. Books are coming through in certain pieces you did. Yes. So books, seems to be, books seem to be very important for you. Yeah, but work. like wall painting or print. I mean, I don't see much difference. So different problems that need different solutions and different media to be solved. And so that's what I do. <laughs> and when you say you, you're, you're a writer, are you working regularly for, for let's say, um, art magazines or things like that? No, too? I only write when I feel like writing. And I have a magazine that publishes whatever I send them. But it's not that I'm under commission. But when there is a magazine. They're under my commission. So you can do advertising for the magazine. We haven't <laughs> it's heard Art the Nexus. It's uh, Art Nexus. It's yeah. Art Nexus. Okay. Um, what is your next project? Um, this exhibition here is going to New York after Zurich. And to many other places. It will be probably traveling for about two years. <clears throat> so my work will be helping it travel. Will be. Um, moved all over the world. Right. Thank you very much okay, for this short you. interview and good luck okay. for your future Thank work. Thank you very much. Thank you.